Hello friends, welcome to the seventh video in this series in which we are discussing the multiple choice questions on Indian polity. Today we are taking up the topic preamble and citizenship. First question is, which of the following words was not added by the 42nd constitutional amendment to the preamble? The options are A. Secular, B. Integrity, C. Sovereign or D. Socialist. The correct option is C. Sovereign. So, socialist, secular and integrity were the three words that were added by the 42nd constitutional amendment and sovereign word was already there. Second question is, which country's constitution was the first to begin with a preamble, a practice that was followed by India? Options are A. United Kingdom, B. United States of America, C. France or D. Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. The correct option is B. United States of America. So this was the first constitution that began with a preamble and it was enacted in the year 1776. So from here India followed this practice and Indian constitution also began with a preamble. Third question is, the preamble proclaims India to be a democracy. What kind of democracy India is? The options are A. Direct democracy B. Indirect democracy C. Both A and B or D. None of the above. The correct option is B. Indirect democracy. So direct democracy means where people themselves are making laws, but that is not so in India. The peoples are not themselves making laws in India, but it is run by representatives. So India is a type of democracy where all the institutions are being run by representatives in the form of members of legislative assembly or members of parliament or even members of legislative council. So these are the representatives that run various institutions of state as well as of union. Therefore, India is an indirect democracy. The fourth question is, choose the correct sequence as per the preamble to the constitution of India. So these are the key words to the preamble and you have to choose the correct sequence in which they appear in the preamble. The options are A. Sovereign Socialist Secular Democratic Republic B. Sovereign Secular Socialist Democratic Republic C. Socialist, Sovereign, Secular, Democratic Republic or D. None of the above. The correct option is A. Sovereign, Socialist, Secular, Democratic Republic. The fifth question is the ideals of liberty, equality and fraternity in the preamble to the constitution have been borrowed from which country? The options are A. USSR, B. South Africa, C. USA or D. France. The correct option is D. France. So the French Revolution of 1789 was the event that popularized this phrase liberty, equality and fraternity. So from there, India has borrowed this into the preamble. The sixth question is, in which landmark case did the Supreme Court declare preamble as a part of the constitution of India? So earlier the preamble was declared not as a part of the constitution, but later the Supreme Court reversed a previous judgment and declared it as a part of the constitution. So which judgment was that? The options are A. Berubari Union case, B. Menaka Gandhi case, C. Asar Bomai case, or D. Kesanand Bharti case. The correct option is D. Kesanand Bharti case. So Kesanand Bharti case in the year 1973 declared preamble as a part of the constitution. And it was actually the Berubari Union case that declared that preamble is not a part of the constitution. But this judgment was later reversed by Supreme Court in the Keshwarand Bharti case. 
Seventh question is, at the commencement of the constitution, four categories of persons became the citizens of India. Which among the following was not one of those categories? The options are A. Persons of Indian origin residing outside India B. Persons who migrated to Pakistan C. Persons domiciled in India and D. Persons migrated to Pakistan but later returned The correct option is B. Persons migrated to Pakistan See this is a question that can be solved with a bit of a common sense So those persons who have migrated to Pakistan why would they be granted Indian citizenship? So actually in place of two, there should be from. So the persons who have migrated from Pakistan became citizens of India, but the persons who migrated to Pakistan did not become citizens of India. All of the three categories are correct. So these were those four categories who became citizens of India at the commencement of the constitution. And commencement here means 26th of January, 1950. This is a very important distinction that the constitution commenced on this particular date whereas it was adopted and enacted on 26th of November 1949. So this particular date is mentioned in the preamble to the constitution and there is a fine distinction between both these dates that on 26th of November 1949 the preamble was adopted and enacted whereas on 26th of January 1950 the preamble or the constitution commenced. So this is a distinction that you have to keep in mind. The eighth question is choose the incorrect statement. The options are A. Constitution of India empowered the parliament to make a law regulating citizenship. B. Certain fundamental rights are denied to non-citizens. C. The subject of citizenship falls under the concurrent list of the constitution or D. All statements are correct. The correct option is C. The subject of citizenship falls under the concurrent list of the constitution. So the, since the question is asking the incorrect question or in the incorrect statement, the option is C. So the subject of citizenship does not fall under the concurrent list, rather it falls under the union list. That is why parliament has the exclusive right or exclusive prerogative to change any of the provisions of the of the citizenship that is under part 2 of the constitution so part 2 is an exclusive to the union government and any state cannot amend anything vis-a-vis -vis the part of citizenship so this is a union subject ninth question is which of the following is not a valid way to lose indian citizenship so three of them are legally valid ways while one of them is not. You have to identify that. The options are A by renunciation, B by subjugation, C by deprivation or D by termination. The correct option is B by subjugation. So there is no such way in which Indian citizenship can be lost. Other three categories are correct. So renunciation means when a person voluntarily acquires the citizenship of another country. Deprivation means when the state deprives a citizenship, citizen of its citizenship. And termination means compulsory termination when the person has done some particular acts due to which his citizenship is terminated. Tenth and last question is, which of the following is not a valid ground for compulsory termination of citizenship by the government? So three of them are valid grounds for which the government can compulsorily terminate the citizenship of a person but one of them is not so you have to identify that the options are if it is proved that the person obtained it by fraud b if the person shows disloyalty to the constitution c if the person refuses to vote during the elections or d if the person communicates with an enemy during war The correct option is C, if a person refuses to vote during the elections. So no doubt that it is a right of every person to vote during the elections. But even if a person does not vote, that does not in any way deprive him of his citizenship. So it is a matter of choice for every citizen whether he wants to vote or not. So this is a very commonsensical statement. 
all other three are valid grounds so if a person obtains citizenship by fraud his citizenship can be terminated if a person shows disloyalty to the constitution his citizenship can be terminated and if a person communicates with an enemy during a war then again his citizenship can be terminated so these are rather easy questions today you can evaluate yourself in this score so i am expecting that most of you will get score in this particular category today also mention your scores in the comment section so that you can compare it with others if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section i will be answering those questions in the next video so thank you everyone